Monsoon always paints a beautiful scenic picture in the environment. The perfect weather to have a cup of coffee while sitting at one corner of your window with a light throw creates a warm and cozy environment. But on the other hand, it also brings lot of other not so pleasant things which threaten to throw this beautiful picture out of the window. With the problem of moisture, dampness, muddy footprints, low light, smelly clothes and unclean bed and sofa. Not to worry, this week's ideas will take away all these concerns and leave you with exactly what you wanted to enjoy the scenic weather in and outside your home. Hello everyone, this is Priyanka and once again welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share some home maintenance tips for this monsoon season. So without wasting any time, let's get into today's video. In monsoon, under heavy rains, power cuts could be frequent which might make the whole house dark. Also in general, under cloudy weather, there is always darkness inside. So I am sharing this chargeable bulb which doesn't need any power to switch it on. Also the trick is to able to use these bulbs in that corner of your house which doesn't have a power switch nearby. Just charge them, fix it to the regular bulb holder like this. And it also comes with a hanger. Just hang it and create a beautiful cozy space in your home. In one of my previous videos, I also shared the same hack with a different light source. I found this one even more useful as this looks and works exactly like a normal light bulb. Cloudy weather means lack of sunlight which results in more and more clothes waiting to be cleaned and dirty clothes get piled up. It's one thing to have enough space for keeping them but it is equally important to have a designated space for the clothes which need to be washed. If you have a proper space, then try to invest in a good size laundry hamper. This one is very old and I got it from Amazon. I will try to find something similar, so please check the link. This comes with a handle which makes it extremely good to carry directly to the washing machine for cleaning. It collapses nicely and when not in use can be kept inside the cabinets. But if you don't have space, then use these kind of hanging laundry bags. Just hang it with the help of command hooks and throw your dirty clothes in it. The very nice feature of this bag is that it comes with a zipper at the bottom. So just unzip it and take out all the clothes from here without going all the way inside the bag to get your dirty clothes. Both of them are equally useful. Now it's up to you which option you want to go with. During this season, places like the sofa could be the tricky ones to clean. As dust settles in, moisture in the atmosphere makes it difficult to be cleaned. To clean your couch, just remove all the cushions. Now, take your vacuum cleaner. You can also clean it with a sofa brush, but for deep cleaning, prefer a vacuum cleaner. Fix the attachments and clean it nicely. Nicely run it through these folds to get anything which must be stuck here over time. Once when you are done, use a fabric shaver to get rid of any lint or puff from here. Change the cushion covers and keep them back. Now, especially for monsoon, there is one trick I love to follow to have a beautiful smelling living room for my guest. Use air freshener sachets. Just open it and remove the hanger because we are just going to keep it on the sofa. Now, keep it at back side of the cushions but make sure you are nicely tucking it a little bit into these fold so that kids can't take it out easily. And we are done. The sofa, the aroma and it's ready to spend some more quality time with your friends and family. During this cozy weather, everyone wants this warm feeling with a coffee, book and a throw. But styling a throw on sofa is one big topic and when it comes to style your home, there is no rule how it should be used. So I'm going to tell you one my personal favorite way of keeping throw on the sofa to turn it into a pillow. Just lay it flat, fold it in half, now fold it from both the sides like this. 
and once when you are done, start rolling it from one end and roll it till the top. Now fold it from the other side, a pocket is created. Now you have to tuck this rolled through inside the pocket and your throw is converted into a beautiful small perfect pillow. Layer it, decorate it the way you want it. Use it to give support to your bag or when needed just open it and use it as a throw. It's always nice to have your home smelling nice. But what's better than candles around your home to make that happen? But when you lit that last bit of candle left in its holder with a matchbox, it makes the process tough, time consuming and also prone to accident of burning your hands. Always use this kind of gas lighter. You can always refill it and it will last long also. Always avoid humidifier in monsoon because it's already very humid inside because of plants and weather. So instead of humidifier, use dehumidifier or diffusers. Just fill water and add essential oil to enhance the good smell inside your home. Check for walls where you see dampness inside your home like this. Now to treat it, first you have to remove the remaining plaster layer which is on the wall. Use this kind of putty scraper to scrape the excess plaster and use sandpaper to even it out. Now use this Dr. Fix It Damp Guard and mix it in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1 of water, base and hardener. Mix the solution. Now. Before applying, take a wet brush and apply a layer of water on the wall. Now apply the thick layer of damp card. Let it dry. And then use putty to even out the surfaces. And once it dries, use sandpaper to sand the excess putty from here. Now paint it and voila, we are done. Wooden furniture, especially the ones which are not having mica on it, like this, needs to be protected from the moisture. So for the same, use any kind of unscented hair oil. Take it on the cotton and apply a layer of it all over the wood. It will protect it from getting moisture. Try not to keep such furniture in the balcony and also keep it away from the doors and windows during the monsoon season. Take out all the dark curtains from your doors which we use in summers to avoid the sunlight in the room. Replace them with the light colored drapes. If you have two curtain rods, just use one thick curtain and also a sheer curtain in the front. But mostly during the rains, just shift the thick curtain at one side and use only the sheer curtains. And see the difference on your own. It will not turn into a dull space while the dark clouds hover in the sky. Paper absorbs moisture and books which are mostly displayed on the shelves are the one which absorbs it the most. So ensure they remain safe by keeping naphthalene bowls at the back of your bookshelf. Just wrap it in a cotton or on a tissue paper and throw it at the back. The mothballs will absorb the moisture and it also makes the space smell nice. As paper absorbs moisture, you can use it to line dustbin with it. Take any paper like a paper bag or a newspaper. But when you do so, don't forget to sprinkle some baking soda inside. And then only use it to line it on the dustbin. Shake it well. The baking soda will help to keep the insects away and it will also create a nice smell. Make sure to change it whenever you see any spills on the paper 
or otherwise every 3 to 4 days change the paper this area deals with so much all the garbage dirty smells throughout the day and what not so to avoid a foul smell whenever you open it to throw in the garbage use either air freshener sachet or touch and spray air freshener just fix it inside under the sink and whenever you feel any foul smell just press it and it will release the air freshener or go for the sachet these are economic and also herbal hang it and it will also last a good number of days This is all for today's video and I really hope you are going to find all these tips useful. If you like today's video then please do share this video with all your friends and family like the video and please do subscribe to my channel. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more video related updates. So I'm going to upload one more video on this coming Wednesday so stay tuned for that and I'll see you all on Wednesday. Bye bye.